Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. The last month we got quite a bit done. We got a lot of bailing done. We got our new field outline, and it's about, I would say, close to half being done. We still got quite a bit of chisel plowing to do there. Um, right now we're hauling in some milk here, just so we can get some extra money in. I already told you my ultimate plan is we're going to invest into a Kubota tractor and trade off that 1086, so I kind of want to get some, I kind of want to get a bunch of the money rolling in towards that and get rid of that 86 as soon as possible so we can get the most for it. Uh, I don't think, let's see here, where's one equipment, there we go, $43,000, so I think it was like a heart. Because we're going to go for the M8, and we're going to go for the 180 horse tractor. We're gonna, which is the... I think it was the 181 series. Yeah, the M8 181. And we're going to get duels on it, just so we have that. We're, we're going to go with Michelin, I believe. Yeah, Michelins. The rear twins. No front attacher, though. Oh. No loader, but we wanted... Oh, where is it? Oh, wait, so... Just a little under $170,000 for that, for that beast there. So we're, we're gonna go get rid of all our milk we've been stockpiling. And this morning I checked on the cattle and we actually doubled our herd just recently. We... All our cattle just recently had babies, so we are gonna start going through a lot more feed. And they're going to start producing a lot more manure and such, which is good for us because we're going to have a free source of fertilizer. Uh, the only thing is that I noticed with our tie stall barn, and I didn't think about this till now, is that we only got a set amount of storage for our slurry in there. I think it's going to be about 50,000 liters at maximum. So at some point, we're going to have to set up a slurry extension. The slurry storage expense see the slurry storage extension for the barn. And I haven't even taken a look at that. We'll actually take a look here in a second. I should really take this fuel barrel off. I'm, I've been meaning to take this fuel barrel off the truck for a while, actually, to tell you the truth. I've been thinking about leaving it up at the wood mill since Since we're not planning the uh, Oh, what's the since we're not planning to bring the Oliver home and then we could just fill it up there. One thing I want to look at this morning, and I haven't looked off at it in my off time, this menu here. Trying to get my bearings together already, and I'm losing my mind. Not enough money. I think we would just put it right over here, I think would be a good spot. Yeah, because we don't need an extra large one. I think. I think 500,000 liter storage would be more than enough for us. Even if we put it, even back here wouldn't be a bad spot actually. Actually, I like this spot a little bit better. And I think there's actually a few mods I have. <clears throat> I'll actually have to look, see if I have some. Oh. I'll also have to experiment with that as well because I do not know for sure with this tight, with this, JMF's tie style barn, if the if it's gonna work with the extensions or not, that's one thing I never tried to be honest with you. Hopefully it does, cause the only other place we could go with all that extra slurry, just so we don't overflow, is to the BGA. And I already said that I would much rather avoid doing that, just cause it I feel like it would give us way too much easy money. And that's another thing I was looking into. I kind of for. It's been a little bit of time since I last played the series, and I forgot that we had silage fermenting in that silo over there at the BGA. And it's about, I think it's about half done fermenting, so we'll have some money coming in from that as well. And we're starting to get a little overloaded at the sawmill with planks again. So I would like to sell those, a bunch of those when the price gets right. Or gets a little bit better. Right now it's on a downward tread when, after, when I checked this morning. Drop that off here. And I'm trying to think what up, what else I looked at this morning. 
yeah, so we're we're still pr going through that. Ah, uh, da da da. Er. But yeah, I thought milk was a good enough price to get rid of some now, so that way we don't have it near as much to worry about later. Um, where are ya? Not diesel. I'm losing my mind right now, and we just started this episode. Planks. That's what we're gonna look at. There we go. And we're at like 2386, which actually isn't that bad. You know what? I just I made the ultimate decision. We're gonna We're gonna get rid of a load. That way I can clear up some space at the sawmill. And the sawmill is starting to run low on timber to pr produce planks as well. So we we got a lot of little tasks that I need to get done. We got chopping to get done. We got that field to get done. And then we'll have soil sampling. And I, I know earlier I said I was going to buy a soil sampler and do it ourselves. But we just don't have the time. I think I'm just going to pay for it. Even if we... Because it's going to resample all of, all of the section 25, which is not the biggest deal in the world, because we got the little bit of the tip of the field of our new field made going into that, or not 25, 26, because we got a little bit of the tip of the new field going in there. And then we'll just, and that way that'll save us some time here. But yeah, I think think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll at least go sell one load of We'll sell one load of planks and we'll see, we'll actually see where that gets us. Because if it gets us close enough to buying that, that M8 today, I think we're going to, I think we're going to do that. And that way we'll be set there and we won't, we won't put any much more hours on the 86. So that way we can get the most, most bang for our buck for that tractor. Because I think we were only going to get like 40 some thousand dollars back from it when we sold it. When I was in the menu, so we, we'll get like a few thousand extra when we haul it in ourselves. But just to, just to that way we can just have the newer tractor on the farm and we'll, over the f winter months, I'm hoping, and I stress this because my money management skills have not been the greatest, is that we'll make enough money to pick up the new harvester well, maybe we won't pick that up right away, but we'll get enough money held back to the point where we can pick that up when we need to. And make enough money. We're also going to drop off this barrel, too, so that way we can stop interfering with our... When we try to fill up milk and water and stuff with the pickup truck, we we'll set it over here. And that way, we'll have a little... Spare tank for the Oliver here. But, back to what I was saying. The, we'll save enough money back over this winter to finally get GPS installed on on the Premium and the, the M8 for the, from the Kubota. And we'll also get... Oh... Uh, We'll also get that Mack truck I'm talking about, and we'll at least get the grain trailer. And then we'll start working towards the tanker for milk, and then we'll start working towards a flatbed. So that way, when we start hauling planks in, we can start hauling in a lot more of a load than we can with this little truck and trailer. And then we'll get the harvester as well. And my next, my next step of my plan right now is that I want us to invest into the furniture furniture production facility. So that will be the next big building that we'll will be invested into. And when we do that, we're gonna we're gonna put it back here over here. This is that's kinda why I've left this land bare for now. And why I haven't planted any trees, because I want to put up that facility and get everything set up for that before we get before we start planting trees around around it again, so We'll, we'll jump in the time lapse here, and like I said, don't be surprised if we. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get 80 of these loaded. We'll see how much how much money that leaves us with. 
And if we have enough, I'm gonna haul that... Haul that 86 in quick, trade that in towards the Kubota. And we're gonna get back to chopping silage and try and knock out all the silage we want for the day. So, we'll jump in the time lapse here finally. And we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone, we're getting to the point where we're going to start wrapping up this episode. I didn't even bother to look how much chaff we had. I figure we were so close to finishing out this field, we might as, might as well chop it all and be done with it. I think when we come back next time, we're still going to be in this month. We're going to try and knock out... We're going to finish that field out back there, I've decided. We're going to get that ready to go, and that, and that way we can... We can uh, get it soil sampled and we can start spreading lime on it. Because I'm, I'm thinking right now, because I'm guessing, oh, let's look at the months here. So next month we will be able to start doing our corn, we will be able to actually start combining corn and soybeans. So I would like to get those knocked out. And I don't think we're going to plant oats next year. And I... It's a little too late now for us to try and plant canola. I was thinking about planting canola, but maybe we will just have to do oats next year. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do another oat field next year, but we'll have a, we'll be a lot heavier on corn and beans next year for sure. Um cuz originally what I was planning is maybe doing one of those fields in canola, but you know, I think I think we'll just do oats and that way we'll we'll stockpile a little bit more more into our barn here for straw and that way we'll be set for bedding for quite a while for our cattle here I don't know how fast we're gonna start going through it now since our herd lit literally has doubled in size I'm hoping I'm hoping we actually produce a little bit more solid manure I noticed we don't produce a lot in that front but we produce quite a bit in oh quite a bit of slurry and we'll have to we'll have to look into investing the slurry and st extension and such. I haven't figured. The thing I'm wait I gotta wait on is to see. I think we're gonna wait until our slurry. Well, maybe we can wait till next year for that. I was gonna say I was gonna wait until our slurry actually got completely filled, because I haven't messed with. I'll be honest with you, I haven't messed with like the slurry extension stuff. So I don't know exactly how it works. Sorry, I'm just kind of twiddling my thumbs right now. So those by by the end of December, these will be. I'm guessing by December, these will be having children. Um, and I know we're out of space. Hey, we'll just shut this down for now. We don't need that running. I think when we come back as well next month, we'll, we'll, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll, we'll get the 4020 over there and we'll start, well, not next month, next episode. We're going to do that today yet. We're going to, we're going to get all the, we're going to get all the new fields completely finished. We're going to have, hire someone to soil sample them for us because I don't, I don't have the time to go out and soil sample it like I thought. The only time I would be winter, but the other issue is too, we're dangerously low on lumber at our sawmill that I would like to get over there and knock down a few trees to keep that rolling. And I might do that next episode as well. We'll see what happens here type thing. And I th and next episode we're going to we're going to haul the 4020 over and get that going for oh what's the word I'm looking for we'll get that going for getting the crap we'll haul the conveyors over and get that set up so we can start putting grass silage into our BGA and start cr creating some power and some extra income for us because we'll be spending quite a bit of money on soil sampling and everything and then we'll be spending quite a bit on lime again as well and we'll we'll start saving up towards that Mack truck I'm gonna get that before we start worrying about getting the com getting the combine is my is my plan as of right now. So that's gonna take that there. But I'm when we sold that 1086, we got quite a bit. We didn't lose too much money on it. I think overall, like probably 10 grand ish if we figure in all the extras with the weights and the duels and such. But Overall, we, um, I think we're going to be much happier with this Kubota, even though it's 
quite a bit of ways out of the whole old iron playthrough, but we'll have plenty of older equipment for us to mess with as well. And I think it's going to handle the disc bind better. It's going to ha handle the baler better. It's going to handle literally everything better than that 1086. And I, and I, like I said, I still believe it was the right choice, and it's, it's going to be something nice for the, nice for the farm, you know, and. Because we're probably our next nice piece of equipment will be a combine. What depending on which style I decide on is going to be the all big deciding factor. The nice thing is, we hit our, hit the goal I set for us. I wanted to hit at least three hundred thousand liters of chaff, and we we did it. So we are sitting pretty good. The only thing we'll have to get make sure is that we'll have to make sure we put enough corn in here. For our high high moisture corn mix, our high moisture corn TMR mix. But otherwise, we're, this is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. <laughs>